Hey there, this is Felix. This is Alfred. We are currently at a very beautiful park, Burnaby Mountain Park in Vancouver, BC. And we are we're really lucky that this, the, the weather is great. We decided to come out and do this video in this settings here. You know, this park is about 1,400 acres, you know. And you still have a lot of, yeah, of trees, is of course, is the main the body. And we still have some small animals like um, coyotes, even sometimes black bear and yeah. cougars who come uh, and visit, you know. It's so, <laughs> so amazing. Today in this video, we're going to cover the topic of wildfire. In fact, wildfire has been a, a social issue that has been discussed for years. Like even when I was, when I was young, when I was just taking normal education, we talk a lot about wildfires, but we realized that there are quite a few severe wildfire cases that happened in the recent years and we want to really talk about it and to raise the awareness of, of this and see what we can actually do about it. Well, uh, I got an example in uh, 2018 uh, in August happened in North California. That one is a really a massive destructive uh, wildfire. wildfire. Altogether, there are eight, more than 8,000 fires happen in that area. Right. And the biggest one covers 1.9 million acres, Ooh. which is equivalent to 1,300 number of the Burnaby Mount area. Right. And it's one quarter of the Vancouver Island area. It's really big. Only one incident, you know. Mm -hmm. And that fire cost about $3.6 billion, eventually, US dollars. Billion. Billion. With a B, wow. Yes. And, you know, the uh, number of buildings destroyed is 22,000 of buildings, number of buildings mm. get burned down. And the worst part of it is altogether 97 casualties. And plus six firefighters mm. sacrificed their lives for the fire. So it's a tremendous strategy, you know? Right. We're talking about last year in California and that's not really the only case. There's a lot more to that. Like in BC, we actually have break a few records for the past two years in, in, in regards to how, how much wildfire area that's covered in BC for the last two years. In 2018, we are talking about there are over 3 million acres burnt in wildfire each season and 2017 actually and 2018 yet is the largest area that is covered in wildfire and there are 65 more than 65,000 people are forced out of their homes just want to have you guys have an idea how how much 3 million acres of areas this means it means roughly 2.4 million soccer fields oh my God. and 4.8 times the size of the greater vancouver so if it happens in vancouver the whole of vancouver will disappear if the five, five of happens, them five, five of them, them will disappear. disappear oh my god and i still remember the last two years during around this time in august we can actually feel the smoke coming out well yeah right you can see the the glare, the sky, and is, the sky gray. is gray, and, and you can smell it. It's crazy. Yeah, and, and, and you can feel the ashes around your winds, window sill. <laughs> yes, it's, it's horrible. The cause of this, we discovered that it's, there's a change in weather pattern that drives the climate change that has pushed, pushed things over the edge, you know, bringing warmer and drier weather to the BC. And there's a lot more lightning in BC that causes these kind of fires. Um, in fact, maybe you want to cover a little bit more on the, on the cost of the California fire. Okay. Well, not only California, actually, according to uh, some professional institute, the Insurance Information uh, Institute, I mean, they, 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 they do a lot of research on uh, Wi-Fi. 90% is caused by people. Mm. How? For example, campfire, which is very, very common. Campfires and then burning of debris, the down of the uh, power line, and also a lot of cases caused by cigarettes, mm. you know. 
and very only only a very little about 10 percent are caused by act of god like um, lightning or lava you know when volcano oh wow that's interesting eruption they were lava lava mm. would cause wildfire as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i would say people human beings are the main cause of wildfires right the, the third example that we have is very recent. We have a wildfire that is widely discussed and widely in the news lately in August 2019. Brazil, we oh. have the Amazon. A lot of area of Amazon forest was on fire. And there are over 2.2 2 .2 million acres of land, of forest within the Amazon has been lost due to the fire in 2019, over 2019. And the consequences of that, not only, you know, we are talking about a lot of trees being burnt down, according to a associate professor at Ohio State University School of Environment, it explains that the fire gave massive toll on the wildfire in the short term, as a lot of animals in Amazon are not adopt to extraordinary fires. Mm. And, they're very, not very mobile. They, they don't know where to go when this happens, right, yeah. and they either hide or well, they homeless. Just, they become homeless without food. All right, and the entire ecosystem of the burning sections of rainfire rainforest will be altered. For example, you know, fire opens up the canopy at the, at a stroke, so the tall tall trees will burn down, and it will a lot of lights will bring down to to the Usually, where the the lands with a lot of shades, they, mm. they don't don't have shades anymore, right? So, fundamentally, it would change the energy flow of the whole ecosystem. The, yeah, the ecology under the, the tree shape will right. change. You know, this this actually reminds me about the the place that we actually just traveled to. Um, we were at a oh, Vancouver yeah. Island, yeah, uh, yeah. and there's a park that we visit has been there for over 300 years. It's called Cathedral Grove. It is, it is on the way um, to Tofino. And we visit a tree there that is actually there for over 800 years. Yeah, so lovely. 800 years, and it's so thick. It's about 76 meters tall. That's about 12 times how tall <laughs> I am. And nine meters thick. Nine meters perimeter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So thick. I think you need really more than 10 persons to, to hug, hug it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I couldn't really imagine like if that forest is just gone, like right. that park is just gone. It has been there for more than like, we're talking about hundreds of years, right? Yeah, and, so. And I mean, the result is irreversible. I mean, once it's yes. gone, you can't find another 800 trees. Yeah, you exactly. Know? So if you want another 800 years old tree, you have to wait 800 <laughs> years. Exactly. Oh my god. Exactly. Talking back about the consequences about these wildfires, we talk about the smoke coming out from, from the mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. And it has been during the first three weeks of August, while we're talking about in the Amazon fires happening, the children's hospital in Porto Valho in, in Brazil admitted more than four hundred children because of the smoke. Mm, mm. It's uh, three times the average, oh my God. according to the officials, because of these fire, wildfires that is happening. These smokes can cause a, a lot of problems for us. Like it goes into a lung, it causes a lot of lung problems, even cancer. So it becomes some kind of a long-term health problem. Long-term health problem, yeah. that's right. Not only we're losing a lot of trees that make fresh air, <laughs> because of the burning of them is even causing even more issues that's coming into our yeah. environment. Somehow it's an environmental disaster. Yes, and the amount of uh, carbon dioxide that's coming out of, of that yeah. uh, wildfire is also, it has been record high from, it's actually recorded in, in the, you can see it from the space, mm. the fire. Sure, it's, sure. Yeah, it's, it's massive. So we talk a lot, a few really ex big examples that's happening in recent years. Do we have anything that we could do to prevent this well, I just said 90% are caused by human beings, are people themselves. Right. So I think we better look into this and there should be some ways to prevent it. Mm -hmm. I name a few. Huh? 
Sure. Okay, uh, whenever you have to burn something, make sure within 50 feet, there's no structure there. No yeah. matter it's a tree, no matter it's a house or whatever, there's no structure around. Whenever you come to a place with trees, it has to be at least 500 feet away 500 feet. from the trees. Gotcha. That is very important. The second thing is to keep some kind of a fire fighting equipment around. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a pool of water, maybe, maybe a fire extinguisher, whatever. Make sure there's some kind of equipment around. Yeah. And then don't burn something when it's very windy. Why is that? Well, when it's windy, the fire will spread very fast. Uh -huh. And you just can't stop it. Right. The speed is, is enormous. You know, you can't imagine how far you can travel. So whenever you feel windy, stop starting a fire, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, whenever you have to pull out a fire, make sure it's completely out. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure it is out and don't leave any ashes with a light possibility of regrow, you know? Right. And then do not smoke. That's <laughs> common sense. Don't smoke around the area. But well, eventually if you smoke, make sure the butt is dead out. Right. Because it can easily cause another fire. Well, the final one, make sure you know the emergency call number in your region for wildfire. Mm -hmm. In BC, it's simple. Star 5555, five, 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 45 with a star. In the beginning. In the beginning. Gotcha. And that will you know, connect you to the uh, proper organization for that. Yeah. At the, at the end of this video, I really want to bring up the message that just imagine the parks around you and, and the trees that you have access to right now. Imagine they just burn down. What happens to the wildlife, the air quality and, and the environment around us? We talk a lot about consequences that already we already see in, in the previous examples. Yeah, yeah. And how long would it take to regrow these trees? We're talking about hundreds of years for these trees to grow that yeah. tall to build the ecosystem we already have. If they got burned down, how many years would it take to regrow these trees? And after this video, how would you do differently to really protect these forests and the parks that you have? And I want you guys to comment below and let us know. And really, if you guys have any other examples, any comments around this topic and how we could prevent these wildfires or any insights that you guys want to share about this, that everybody who watched this video and watched your comments would benefit from. We really welcome that you guys are comment these things in the comment section yeah. below. Yeah. Let's treasure the environment. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's right. If you guys really like what these videos that we are making here to bring up social issues and environmental issues, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button so that you guys can get notifications about the next videos that we're coming up. And, and don't, forget don't forget to share the share video, to share this video to okay. to the, to other people so that they know what they can do about it. All right, we'll continue our next hours to just enjoy some sun here before it start raining, um, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Okay. All right. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye.